Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your singles reading. So if you're single or just somewhere in between, this is for you. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini. Can I just give you all a quick shout out? Hold on, y'all. A quick shout out to thank you for all of the support and love on your May general reading. I'm going to link that below. So if you haven't seen your Gemini um, general reading for May, check that out as well. Thank you. Thank you for all your beautiful support. In this reading, we're going to take a look and see what your energy is coming in, why everything's happening. So what you need to focus on, what's on your mind, recent past, what's coming in that you don't see. How you see yourself, your emotions, and what's your outcome? Do you remain single? Do you have somebody coming in? We're going to find out and clarify. Also, too, the link to the extended reading is below. We're going to dive into this person that's around you or the next person that's coming in. See how they feel. Do they want to commit? Are they a big fat liar? Or are they your future spouse? We'll find out over there. All right, so let's get into it. Coming into the reading, what do we got? Knight of Swords, there you are. Gemini. What's the influencer challenge? The Hermit, major for Virgo. I'm going to go into detail with these cards, y'all. I just like to lay them out before I do so. What's on your mind? Four of Swords. Oh, also too, I forgot. Uh, hang out to the end of the reading. I'm going to pull cards depending if you are Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We're going to see what's the zodiac sign of this person. What's the most prominent energy? Who could they be? All right, we'll do that at the end. What happened in the recent past? Three of Pentacles. Why is everything happening? What does spirit want you to focus on? Justice, major for Libra. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? Singles, eight of swords, that just fell out on my floor as well. So it's meant to be here. There's your air energy. How do you see yourself? What are you up to? The five of cups, what? Why? Why, Gemini, are you missing someone? Are you just kind of disappointed with the single life? Join the club. What's hidden that you don't see coming? The Two of Pentacles. All right, what's going on in your feels, your hopes and your fears? King of Wands. Okay, Daddy with a wand and a big fat lion. You got Leo energy there. It could be a Sag or Aries or just somebody that has that in their chart and they're super fiery. What's the outcome? Oh, now we have Daddy with a cup. We have King of Cups. We got a couple people showing. You've got a King of Wands in your emotions. And you've got a king of cups showing up in the outcome. That's why this two of pentacles is coming in. We're going to see what that's all about. Hang tight. You may have a decision to make. You may be kind of still holding on to someone or you're kind of just around somebody, but then you have somebody else that's interested. I Sometimes these kings will show as the same energy. They just take on the energy of that court card. But I feel like this is two different people. And it's all happening because of justice. Gemini singles. So that's what spirit wants you to focus on. That's the main energy. We're going to find out why. So make sure you're balanced. Also, too, you're going to have a choice or a decision to make. And you got to be fair, right, with justice here. I think you have a cup. I think you probably have two people. All right, let's do this. Let's clarify this reading. Hey, if y'all are interested in receiving email notifications when I upload to YouTube, because we know YouTube isn't the most reliable. I have uh, put a link below in the description box. I created the link, it's safe. If you click on it, it just says, yes, you would like notifications when mom here uploads to YouTube. So I'm gonna only do playlists. I'm not gonna do every video so I don't bombard your email, but you never have to miss another reading. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. So coming in, we've got the Knight of Swords. So there's your energy, why? because of the two of coins. I feel like somebody's rushing in and you're still kind of focused on, you're either focused on that energy of like, when's my person gonna come in? I'm busy, I'm, I'm, you know, I have balance in my life, I'm juggling a lot, I'm trying to keep busy, I'm trying to do the right thing, releasing karma and all that kind of stuff. And then there's others of you who are still kind of maybe holding on to a, a past situation, but you have somebody new coming in. And that's why they're rushing in. And with the two of coins, again, two is all about decisions. We see the two of coins here twice. So this two of coins is like, well, I, you know, I got to juggle it all. Like I got to, I got to fit everything in, but I could have a choice to make about a couple people. Why is this happening? So the influence to all this, 
Gemini is the hermit and the hanged man. Look, I put one of my, I have a shop on my website. Go check it out. Look, I put a love me hard bath soul sticker on the lovers because YouTube wants to restrict my content through my uh, tarot cards, apparently. Apparently, they're too risque, so says YouTube. So I put one of my love me hards. There you go. That's the lover's card. And guess what? It's you. And what a shame because it's beautiful artwork. Yeah, there you are. So again, choices and decisions. And some of you are kind of just on your own right now. You're really reflecting, right? You're going to kind of go within too. It's a quiet time. Number one, just because you're trying to figure out how to move forward, what you want, who you want, Calling in that very strong connection, soulmate energy. The lovers can, I'm sorry, it's, it's the hanged man, y'all. I'm sorry. I said it was, uh, I said it was the lovers because the lovers has orange on the bottom. It's the hanged man. I apologize. It's Pisces energy. I'm sorry. But so let me go back. Now that's what's influencing this energy here of going back and forth. Solitude, really going within. And with the hanged man now, so with that um, hermit energy, that's very spiritual energy. It's kind of trying to see things in a new perspective. Where have I been? Where am I? Where am I going? What do I want? What do I want to change to, you know, call in the right person for me? And, you know, others of you, again, maybe there's this kind of disconnect with someone. And some of you might be waiting around to hear from someone, but the universe has other plans. What's on your mind? Four of swords, healing, perhaps. With the Three of Cups, yeah, see, some of you guys do want to reunite. You're taking a break from somebody or you're, you know, you're kind of just focused on also that very spiritual meditative energy, doing it on your own, very secluded energy. And, you know, what's this Three of Cups? What's this about? And the Page of Swords. <laughs> Gemini, there's your energy. Are you watching someone or are you just inquisitive? Page of Swords can be kind of watching someone online, asking about them. That kind of thing but he's also very curious he's very inquisitive and it is a page so again towards something new yeah i'm thinking about going out and dating i'm manifesting with the four swords you know i'm having some quiet meditative time i'm just kind of taking a break and pulling away here a little bit but i do have dating on my mind three of cups with the page of swords you may have somebody already in mind or you're just kind of curious you know what's the universe bringing it's all happening because of justice. So this is what spirit wants you singles to focus on, justice. And the three of swords, Libra, the card of Libra, two cards of Libra. So if you're co connecting with a Libra, and put it in the comments below, or if you have Libra in your chart, I want to know. But see, there's that heartbreak, that separation, disappointment. Again, it doesn't mean everybody I'm reading is going through a separation, wants somebody back or is still heartbroken. It doesn't necessarily mean that. It's the collective energy of Gemini sitting in that energy of maybe just being disappointed, right? You're doing all the right things. You're ready for balance to be restored. You're ready for something to go your way with justice, working really hard on yourselves, your karma, that kind of good stuff, but just being disappointed. Why is this three of swords here? Some of you are waiting on an apology from somebody that you're a part. Yeah, see, an ending, death, Scorpio energy. But the good thing also about death is going through, you know, that complete transformation. I'm changing the way I look at, at relationships. I want somebody completely different. I want something completely different. Coming into the near future, you'll experience the Eight of Swords with the Four of Swords. Why won't they reach out? Why is nothing moving? You know, you thinking about it, going around and around, being frustrated. And there's that Four of Swords energy again. So healing, but also taking a break possibly from someone. What happened in the recent past? You've got the Three of Pentacles, why? And the Knight of Coins. A lot of Earth energy there. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Maybe going out and dating. Maybe, you know, kind of tried it. Knight of Coins, it, it just kind of was still, right? The Knight of Coins is very slow-moving energy. I think a lot of you were super, super cautious about really collaborating, dating, that kind of thing. So you're just taking your time. How do you see yourself right now? Five of Cups. Why the Five of Cups? The Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, some of you are sitting in that energy of, well, things didn't work out in the past, or I was let down. I'm sad. I'm disappointed. You know, why is this not happening for me? But again, Spirit saying focus on balance. Also with um, justice and the foundation, 
you know, and I know it sounds corny, but like make sure that you, you have life balance, going out with friends, your career, maybe something on the side that you enjoy. All of those things bring in the person that you want to be with. It just takes time. It is on the universe's watch, right? But this is what they're telling you. There's something here with some pain and an ending that spirit's saying, work through it. And when you're ready, that's when you'll manifest this. But yeah, you're sitting in kind of that loss or disappointment. The nine of wands in reverse is like, F it. I'm just going to give up. I, you know, I can't go anymore. I'm tired. I'm annoyed. Like, I just feel like I can't defend my cause. So I just, I let it down. I let it go. I don't want to defend it. What's in your environment coming in? Gemini, you've got the two of coins again with the five of wands. Yeah, competition, I'm telling you. A lot of people are getting this sort of energy. I think the Aries and Taurus were very similar to this, like a couple people being interested and then what's coming that you don't see is a decision you're gonna have to make. And with the five of wands, it's being a little bit conflicted, but it's also, I think it's competition. What's this five of wands about? Yeah, the six of wands, Leo energy, victory, success. One of these offers will pump you up, right? They're gonna want to kind of parade you around or you know, the six of wands can be kind of egotistical. There's a Leo coming in for y'all. I'm not saying all Leos are eg egotistical. I just jumped to that king of wands and then also the six of wands can be Leo energy as well. But and you're over here just being kind of meek and like dealing with your stuff and feeling frustrated. And then there's somebody here in your environment, a couple people, six of wands with the seven of cups in reverse. One of these people you're going to see right through, right? The seven of cups in reverse is, you know, there's no illusion. There's no confusion. I'm not an option, by the way. So you cut one of these offers. Somebody's, a couple people are interested, but one of these you'll cut off. Who's this person? The two of swords could be a Libran. There's that decision again. This is blocking, ignoring someone. Could be a past, but I feel like they're both new. What's going on in your emotions, Gemini? You've got this king of wands, wanting that fire, maybe one in a fire sign. Passion, somebody that's gonna take charge, take action. And the four of wands in reverse you could have been connecting with um a fire sign who just wouldn't commit you know or you've gone through some sort of pretty heavy breakup what's this four of wands in reverse and the hermit yeah see you're kind of secluded kind of going within you know again there's like this withdrawal and ghosting energy around somebody after a break or they just wouldn't commit um What's the outcome? You've got a King of Cups here. So who's this King of Cups for Gemini? Who's this King of Cups? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Temperance. Look, I had to put another sticker on Temperance because he was naked. Oh my God, beautiful artwork showing the human body. Yes. Anyways, that's Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Oh, that's a nice energy. This person is balanced emotionally speaking. And with temperance, so this person could have water in um, Sagittarius or Leo in their chart, I feel. But they're balanced. Temperance is all about balancing your emotions. The King of Cups loves, and he loves hard and unconditionally. Very intuitive energy. Sometimes he's hard to crack. He holds those emotions inside, but he's very mature and he knows how to love. He's emotionally available. And with temperance, again, this is somebody who... Um, it's like that yin and the yang, right? It's the it's all about divine timing with temperance. This person seems really chill. Who's temperance? Why is it here? Why is it here? Seven of coins. Taking your time. Seven of coins. Waiting. Some of you, again, are waiting on somebody to contact you. And then in the meantime, you've got this king of cups type energy. It's very loving. It's beautiful energy. And with that seven of coins, uh, Gemini, again, this is kind of like reflecting. Again, we go back to death. This is the main energy with um, justice and the three of swords. What caused breakups? What's caused my inner pain, right? What is that turmoil all about? How do I not do that again? <laughs> you know what I mean? It almost feels like lessons. And you're going to find here with somebody that's interested, you've got the seven of coins. This is, again, really taking stock. Moving slowly with the coins, 
but it's really taking stock of a situation and how you want to move forward and just kind of taking your time waiting a bit seven of coins with the eight of coins you'll decide to put work into this person eventually more earth energy which just tells me gemini is moving slowly and there's nothing wrong with that but you have potential of somebody who's also willing to compromise. It's a very sweet, beautiful, nurturing energy. You got to clear this first though, right? Even if you're not talking to somebody that hurt you or that you had to kind of come apart, you know, there was a break or break up or something like that, you might just be kind of still sitting in that energy. So that just tells you here, spirits like that's okay, but there needs to be a transformation, perhaps you know, more about the people that you're drawn to, what you'll accept, what you won't accept. And you've got this beautiful energy waiting if you want it. We'll find out what that King of, Co or that King of Cups wants in the extended reading. I'm going to kind of spy on that energy and see how they're going to move forward with you. Who they are, what their intentions are. All right, let's see if we can get more Zodiac signs. So if you are a Gemini sun, who might this person be? Temperance. I said Sagittarius earlier. I feel like they definitely have Sag or Leo in their chart somewhere. What if you're a Gemini moon? What if you're a Gemini moon? Who might this person be for you? Leo with another water and fire sticker because there was a naked baby on that card, apparently. Yeah, so see, I said it earlier, Sagittarius and Leo, I'm getting heavily. What if you are a Gemini ascendant slash rising, whatever you choose to call it? got the hermit Virgo and what if you or this is just somebody that's very wise right maybe a little bit older super super intelligent and wise what if you're a Gemini Venus if you're a Gemini Venus put it in the comments by the way because I don't know a whole lot about Gemini Venus I want to know more what's uh what's your card Scorpio judgment for you Venus could be a Scorpio and we got that. We got all these signs in your reading. We got Scorpio with the King of Cups, Sagittarius, Leo. So there's a mixture of that in this person's chart. Doesn't matter what your placement is, is what I'm feeling. All right, and extended, let's spy on that King of Cups energy. See what they're bringing. Do they want a commitment or not? We're gonna find out. I will see y'all over there. Those readings are so much fun. I love doing those readings because it's a smaller audience. So it's gonna resonate even more. It's pretty bad. Bleep, bleep, bleep. All right, Gemini, I love you guys hard. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.